Matt's back, and if you like winter, you're going to be happy this weekend. <laughs> yeah, I know there's some mixed opinions about snow this time of year. What do you think, Jack? Are you excited? You know what? If it's good for the people who enjoy it, the skiers, the snowmobilers, I'm happy for them. I really am. And the good thing is it's mostly a dry snow up here, so it'll be nice and easy to move. And it, we're not in the jackpot either in the Champlain Valley. The jackpot is in the mountains further south. So there still will be a widespread period of heavy snow for most of us, maybe outside of St. Lawrence County where the snow's a little bit lighter. It arrives after midnight tonight, exits by tomorrow evening, just around sunset. So it's all snow north, but around Route 4 and points south, especially Bennington and Wyndham counties, that's where we're going to see a mixture of rain, sleet, maybe some freezing rain rain. So it's a solid foot of powder from Ticonderoga to Montpelier, St. J and points just south of there. So really between there and Route 4. You see how the snow showers are already showing up on radar. These aren't hitting the ground quite yet. It's very dry out there, but the clouds are on the increase ahead of this uh, snowstorm. So you see this northern piece of energy over the Great Lakes that sort of merges with this southern piece down there. So we've got Great Lakes moisture. We've got Gulf of Mexico moisture and moisture off the Atlantic Ocean. That's why we're expecting such a quick hitting heavy burst of snow as we head into tomorrow. So the rest of today is fine. No issues on the roads, just increasing clouds. And even at 11 p.m., the snow is just starting to get into northern New York, perhaps far southern Vermont as well. It overspreads the entire region. So as you're waking up on Saturday, it's snowing at a really good clip out there, perhaps one to two inches an hour in central and southern Vermont. You see how it mixes up to about Springfield. I I still think Rutland and Lebanon have uh, the chance at seeing a mixture of freezing rain, but some guidance is ticked a little farther south. The one thing I want to point out is that by early afternoon, most of the snow is done over northern New York, but it keeps going all afternoon and evening southeast of the Champlain Valley. So on the backside, as the storm is wrapping up, there could be a final burst of very heavy snow in southern Vermont, which could help to add to the already pretty hefty totals expected down there. Then it's beautiful on Sunday, lots of bright sunshine. So a great day to get out and enjoy some of that freshly fallen snow. So we still have that band of 12 inches, perhaps even as much as 18 inches uh, in the Green Mountains, but there has been a slight tick south since yesterday in guidance, but the general thinking is unchanged. We're still going with two to four inches from Malone out toward Messina and Potsdam. Most of northern New York sees four to eight inches until you get to Essex County. Then it's a solid eight to 12. Ticonderoga 12 plus up through Montpelier, up through St. Johnsbury, and then the jackpot is more into central Vermont. So just south of Montpelier, Randolph, into uh, parts of uh, Orange County, certainly uh, getting that uh, those higher totals. And then you see Killington 18 plus. This area though has a lot of uncertainty. I still think it's a solid snowstorm for Rutland, but depending on how much mixing there is, these totals could shift over the next uh, couple of hours. So just check back for the forecast tonight to get a fresh update on that. But it's a dry snow for most of us. You see in the blue shading north of Route 4, that's where we're not expecting power issues. But this orange band into central and southern Vermont, that's where we expect the snow to be a little bit wetter and a little heavier. So that could cause some power outages in southern Vermont. Good news is we've got nothing but sun the next couple of days after the storm and a nice warm up. Spring wants to return with temperatures near 50 degrees next week. Jack.